Greetings Grapple fans and welcome to MCW Wrestling. Once again we're back in Rainworth. This is Destruction. And about to make his way to the ring, Deacon Frost. A wrestler from Phoenix Wrestling of Coventry. And as with many wrestlers touring around England and the UK, travels from company to company hoping to make a name for himself. Also, as you can see, appointed referee Brandy. But wait till you get a load of his opponent. And you see Deacon Frost, he doesn't look to be in a good mood. He's put in a very awkward position this match, as you'll see. Going in the face of some of our local fans. You heard that right folks, her debut, this is a mixed gender match, Miss Jordan E versus Deacon Frost. Jordan E is also a wrestler of Phoenix uh, Wrestling from Coventry and an 8 year veteran and make no mistake, <laughs> Miss Jordan E uh, from what I'm told is a form of many forms of grappling. I've also been told uh, in a lot of her eight year career, she also uh, made a name for herself as being quite a, quite a villain, but it's like she's having a change of tune. Make no mistake, she's a oh, here comes Deacon Frost, looking to intimidate. Uh, <laughs> I dare say there's a uh, Like it or not, folks, sexist will come into play in this match. <laughs> this would be a very unusual situation for uh, a male wrestler to be in. And perhaps Jordan E will use that for advantage. Collar elbow tap in the centre of the ring. <laughs> Deacon Frost uh, <laughs> saying he's. Female or not, he treats everybody the same, uh, only not in the gen gentlemanly manner. Reversal by Jordan E. Into a wrist lock of her own, that's a very nice uh, leg takedown. And wraps the leg round, Manistral Cradle. Referee Brandy. Falls for the two. Once again, Deacon Frost saying, Woman or not, you're just an opponent to me. Picking up by the hair. <laughs> I have to give Deacon Frost some credit, he's, he's not taking her lightly. And likewise, Jordan E knows... <laughs> she knows that uh, she's going to be treated this way in wrestling matches, which she can certainly hold her own, which she saw earlier. Oh, I see you fighting back, that's a very nice leg pick up into a single crab. Jordan E, very well schooled <laughs> in the art of grappling. This looks to be a very painful hold, but I can't see Deacon Frost wanting to tap out. You can see he's favouring the leg, she had that hooked in well. Jordy's basically saying, you're not going to get a push over from me matey. Hands going behind Jordan E, that's a, a nice go behind, it looks to me that Jordan E is the veteran of this match <laughs> having Deacon Frost wave to the fans powers him up and a waist lock takeover straight into a reverse chin lock as I say Jordan Lee looks to be very well skilled in uh, you know, ground grappling manoeuvres Deacon Frost looking to power up and Brings it down across the uh, arm and the collarbone. That could really take its toll in this match. Well, <laughs> you can see the wear downs also taking its toll on Deacon Frost. 
Referee Brandy initiating the 10 count. Wrestlers reach to the feet. Deacon Frost. Rips Jordan to the far side. Reversal by Jordan. And a very nice clothesline. And notice how she drives the arm all the way down. She didn't just hit him. Jordan in control. Whips Deacon to the far side. Goes for the clothesline. Deacon ducks. But she catches the elbow. Jordan firmly in control of this match. Trying to quicken the pace. The clothesline. The back elbow. Deacon's done his homework. Boot to the midsection. Here comes Deacon. And a knee strike or knee lift off of the ropes. The tide's turned in this match. Deacon slowing down the pace. Methodically stamping away. Trying to humiliate Jordan E. Referee warning. Deacon Frost about the rules. You have to the count the five if you try to break them. Here comes Deacon. A simple, uh, just a simple kick from the ropes. And I get the impression that Deacon doesn't like to be wrestling against a woman. Certainly not as formidable as Jordan E. Looks like we've got a suplex coming up. Nicely executed. And of course Deacon Frost having to pour up with uh, referee Brandy. But Very nice swinging elbow. Deacon taking his time. Lateral, point, lateral press, I do beg your pardon. Deacon Frost sets up Jordan, here comes Deacon and... I think Jordan knew what was coming. She drops to the lower rope, but unfortunately for Jordan, Deacon had the uh, attempted counter well scouted. He didn't get all of the moves, but the guillotine strike on the ropes. And Jordan fighting back. It's a snap there. And a shin across the back. Jordan back in control, but she seems to be reeling. And uh, a rather suggestive move coming up and it's a very unique submission manoeuvre I can't help thinking there's a bit of a taunt uh, involved there in the past Jordan would would used to grab all of the ropes for extra leverage but <laughs> trying to keep it clean this time a reversal by Deacon Frost Jordan had hold of the ropes Deacon Frost had to break the hold Perhaps a mistake on Jordan's part, going for that unique submission manoeuvre. It seems to work worked against her. Deacon Frost back in control. Looks to be going for a pump handle slam. In fact, does. He didn't get a lot of height on that, but certainly well executed. You heard the impact, and now Deacon Frost dragging the seemingly lifeless body of Jordan E. It's like Deacon Frost is going to fly. Taking his time on the top rope. We've already seen that Jordan E is quite resilient. Here comes Deacon and a very nice straightforward leg drop off the ropes. Gets a two count. Deacon Frost getting frustrated. Jordan E trying to fight back to her feet. And in fact does. Jordan E straight back. Very nice Northern Light suplex with a bridge holds him. She couldn't hold him. Referee Brandy was out of position there, but she did make a good call. Two count for Jordan E. And I'm very impressed with both of these wrestlers. The Phoenix Wrestling from Coventry. Deacon fighting back. Look to the far side. Here comes Deacon. And I'm not quite sure what happened there, but it seemed to work against Deacon. Jordan and E up on the shoulders. She's going for a oh, victory roll. A win for Jordan E. Very impressive. I suppose the moral of the story is male or female. There's 
Deacon Frost just blindsided. Jordan Knee. This is despicable behaviour. This is an appalling act of sportsmanship. Deacon Frost, the loser, attacks the winner. No doubt must have felt humiliated, but he's got her in a full Nelson into a almost a sit-out power bomb, but presumably that's the move you wanted to win the match with. Brandy trying to get away Deacon Frost. This is despicable behaviour. Sadly, this is just the sort of behaviour, though, that Governor likes to see in MCW. There are wrestlers that try and make a stand against this, but... I have will be seeing a lot more of Jordan E and Deacon Frost in the future. See you later, folks.